Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord GF series. So in today's video, I'll be doing something simple, but it should be really helpful. Um, so in today's video, I'll be making a terminal command so we can actually run our terminal with Discord. Um, it's like a command, but you can run stuff in your terminal. So you don't need to go to terminal and then, um, you don't need to run commands from here. You can run it straight from the Discord itself. So the first package you need to install is um, you need to install child uh, child process process just install that make sure it's at the latest version so let's just install that real quick okay perfect. Okay, and then in here, I'm just going to name this terminal. Okay, and then we're going to require the package that we installed earlier. It's const child equals require and then child process. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to check if it's your um, ID because you don't want everybody to use this command because it's literally interacting with a terminal. So you just want to copy your own ID. And then um, if message the author the ID is not equal to your ID, it's gonna return. Okay, and then this is do const command equals to arc the join. If there is no command, return message the reply. Please specify a command to execute. Okay, so if there's command. We can just do child dot pro uh, execute and then it's a function. Um, and then we can do um, we're gonna ex execute a command comma and then it's callback and then we're just gonna do error and a uh, rip result if error return console the log error and then if there is a result. Uh, we can actually send the result by doing message dot channel dot send and then rest dot slice and then we're going to slice um zero to two thousand characters because you don't want it to be over limit uh yeah over limit okay and then comma and then um object and then code will be js so this basically makes you to send your messages using uh this format Okay, it sends your message list like that, so it looks a little better, in my opinion. Okay, you can make it uh, however you want, you can make it an embed, whatever you want. Just put this code over here in your set description, and you should be good to go. So let's just try this code out. So let me CLS, no dot. Okay, so let's just boot this bot up. I'm just gonna open my package.json because we are gonna use it later on on this video. Okay, so let me just. Okay, um, we can run the commands right now by doing. Uh, we will just run node v. So basically, uh, what this does, it's uh, it's gonna reply with your node version. So let me just show you node v dash v. My bad. Okay, so you can just do y terminal node dash v, and it will run it, and then it will show you inside over here. Okay, perfect. So let's say you want to uninstall a package. So let me just see which package I'm gonna uninstall here. Um, we're gonna uninstall um, Recon LX because why not? Um, let me just do Y terminal terminal npm uninstall Recon LX. Okay, and then let's just wait for it to uninstall it. Wait, 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 wait. Because it normally takes some time, and then it should um send the response unless there's an error, which there isn't. Okay, so as you can see here, it took some time because uh, my internet is pretty shit. Um, yeah, as you can see here, we moved blah 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 blah. So if I close this and I reopen package to JSON. Uh, recon Alex should be gone. As you can see, the Recon Alex was over here. 
and when I uninstalled it, it just went missing. Okay, so let me just reinstall ReconnectX so you can see that it's actually working. So let me just change uninstall to install. You can do any commands you want, but this is the only command that I can think of installing and uninstalling. So yeah, um, let's just wait for it to install again. This is gonna take some time because my internet is bad. Okay, as you can see here, it installed. Um, so we can check by our package JSON. Okay, and then we can see our dependency reconnect has suddenly magically appeared. So yeah, this is how you use the um terminal in Discord commands. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, if you need help, feel free to join the support server. So links will be in the description. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Alright, that have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye.